Now, the woodwinds were recorded in Oakland, which is not far from San Francisco, where the brass section of the symphony series was recorded. And as we come here with woodwind solo, we see that we have the woodwind quintet to start with. Now, the woodwinds are a very fascinating part of the orchestral family because they have so many instruments so many different types of instruments. There are many types of flutes. Uh, there are many types of oboes and so on and so forth. Clar uh, clarinets, bassoons. We have here the contrabassoon. The symphony series has less than, than the whole woodwind family, but no less of the sonic impact by any means. So here we have our flutes up top. Now that's a bit of crossover with the oboes, indicated by the blue, and they kind of underlap the flutes. It's the top of the range. As we come down here, the flutes and oboes, and then clarinets and oboes, clarinets and bassoon. to the contrabassoon, which is the lowest instrument in the orchestra, at least <laughs> from the, uh, the material I've read up on it. All right. Same interface as the woodwind ensemble, and we have our arpeggio setting. Right now it's up and down. And it's in the scale the major, so we can put it in, put it in minor. Now we're just gonna change it here and put it to augmented. Ooh. I'm just gonna be quiet and let you enjoy these. So I'm going to pause here. As we can see with the trill, we have our minor second, major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, augmented fourth, perfect fifth, minor sixth, major sixth, minor seventh, major seventh, and octave. I think I'll put it back to a one eighth. Right. These are all the and these are just trills, so let's try the augmented fourth. Perfect fifth. Perfect fourth. All right, and there are many options with all of that. So I'm gonna turn off the arpeggio for now. Let's go through some articulations. <clears throat> Right now we're on sustain all. We go down here to the staccato. Thank you. 
right? You can go up a little higher. Go to our crescendo. And our decrescendo. A beautiful ending to our quintet. So now we're going to go over to our solo instruments. And no, I don't want to save any changes. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> we'll start at the at the end this time with the bassoon. Now the effects, as we learned, are different sounds that these can make. I know, we'll just get into it. That sounds almost like a sneeze, doesn't it? And the bassoon is a reed instrument, as well as being woodwind, and the way it produces a sound is with the reed. These are flourishes. I like that one. Alright. Uh, overtones. This should be fun. Some of those are a little ominous. Nice. Sync to the DAW tempo. Very speed. All of them have this. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that's it. We now move on to the expression. We have some unique effects here. We have the repetition, then we have tuning. Imagine that for, for a crescendo, that's not going to be the best representation of what uh, that section can do. Very smooth decrescendo. Fort Sando, swell. That's it. So, turn this on. Hmm. Come on. Tuning drift. Two times attack. Oh, I can hear da da. Very soft. All right. Now, legato. Just one articulation because it's true legato. It's a contrabassoon, so it doesn't go lower. Staccato. Okay, now, underneath the round robin, which adds our variation, we have the velocity sensitivity, so... That did add a little bit of sensitivity, so it was really... All right. Okay, so we have now staccato piano. Staccato forte. Double tongue. That's it for there. So we got our double tongue, regular, soft, loud.
from staccato, we move on to sustain. top of the range there beautiful tone on this thing we have our piano forte Sustain half drills. And one more articulation. Our sustain hold drills. Notice it gets faster up near the top. Like some notes seem faster than others, as they would be based on their, you know, your finger position. And now, bassoon. Well, it should feature a collection of all of them. So we got the range. So that's our sustain. Get our half drills. I love that you can hear the clicking of the, the keys as well. Here we got our staccato. Double tongue. Our crescendo. Our decrescendo. A smooth ending. Because that's all we have for the uh, bassoon. Now moving on down here, we have a clarinet, also a reed instrument, a contrabassoon, which is even deeper. We'll do that one next. We have our flute, our oboe, and saxophone, which is uh, also it's so several of these are reed instruments: the saxophone, the oboe, the contrabassoon, the clarinet. Actually, all of these are reed, except for the flute, not a reed instrument. So, contrabassoon, as we said. Now, this one, the effects. I love the huskiness on there. Okay. Now, 
staccato st tongue stop. That became a tongue twister. Arp octave. That's it. We move on from the effects, which are always fun, to the expression. Crescendo. Little pitch drift there, which is kind of nice. And I was playing that as a melody, and <laughs> ignoring the fact that it's a crescendo, so a decrescendo. Our swell. Expression there. Now legato. That's the only articulation for that. Some arpeggios. Arpeggios just don't quite sound as good down there. Move on to the staccato. Huskiness on there. Let's hear it clean. That is it for that one. We move on to the sustain. Some mosquito flying around or something. <laughs> All right. Contrabassoon.
all the articulations with which we're familiar. All right, that has been your contrabassoon. Next, we'll go to another reed instrument, the clarinet. effects part are always fun. Expression. So crescendo, now our decrescendo. Forzando. Swell. Legato. Do our runs just for fun. Staccato. Sustain.
It's putting me in a relaxed <laughs> frame of mind here. It's just some mellow. Mostly down here, up here. Ooh, why are those there if I can't? Simply the clarinet, which is a collection. That is our clarinet. Now, we go to another reed instrument, the oboe. The fun world of effects. The flourish down. Now to me, the oboe sounds a little more nasally than the clarinet. Which is weird because neither one of them have noses. It's an octave flourish, very nice. indeed. It's a flourish with a dramatic hold. <laughs> dramatic short. Now we move on to our expression. So we have our crescendos. V crescendo. Our swell, all the usual suspects. Legato. Staccato. There are different kinds of staccato, so we have the quiet one. Mm-hmm. 
Long staccato. Not heard of that. See, the wind the wind instruments are very, very unique and special in the, the, the sounds they can do. Sustain. Now, something to note, you can always turn on the legato feature in which it will just... It'll just allow you to play one note at a time. Now we have the oboe, just the oboe. a collection of all the effects, the usual suspects. Our next instrument. Okay, we've done the clarinet, we've done the oboe. We're gonna go to another reed instrument, the saxophone, and lastly will be our non-reed instrument, the flute. Saxophone is not something you I think of for orchestra, but why not? It's a wind instrument. Now, they probably weren't in the, the uh, orchestra in the Baroque period, but... That is a, like a phone ring. the expression, our usual suspects. Smoothness of legato. Just 
staccato. Sustain all. saxophone. So, bassoon, clarinet, contrabassoon, oboe, saxophone, and now flute. That was quite a fall. It's a feather on its way to the ground. Mm, I love that one. Overtone. So it seems to be with the, with the blowing harder or softer, you can get these other tones. And if you can control them, sounds very challenging <laughs> based on the little bit I, I've done with well, actually a recorder. It's similar. If you blow harder, it'll pitch up. And it's, it's hard to keep those under control. They kind of just happen. Our expression with our crescendo, decrescendo, forzando. Well, this the little scream on the end, which I guess is the overtone. All right, that's what I'm supposed to call it. Okay, swell. Very smooth. The flute, as I mentioned before, doesn't have a reed, so they're not blowing into a, a reed to vibrate it. It's the whole uh, well, it's the space. There's a, a space through which the wind from the breath of the player goes. And instead of being uh, a reed, it's just 
that space and then it vibrates in the whole length of the instrument. It's kind of a more breezy sound as opposed to a, zzz, a little buzzing sound that some, some of the reeds tend to have a more buzzing type sound. don't have is a piccolo I noticed piccolo is the the high the smaller higher pitched relative of the flute in, in the flute family I should say and they have bass flutes and contrabass flutes very unique sound for the scope of today though Like your the tongue stops are kind of like your long staccato, and then sustain mezzo forte. I like That's it. <laughs> okay, sustain with vibrato, piano. Then from sustain we go to flute. There it is, that flute. And the entire woodwind section will go back to the quintet to close out here. 